We are continuing to get to know the coaches. And right now I've got senior offensive assistant and running backs coach, Jeff Nixon. Coach, thank you for taking the time to join me. No, excited to be here. Uh, you know, thank you guys for uh, having me on. So I, I want to ask you, I read that you and Matt Rule go way back. It's like Penn State 1997. So I'm wondering if you can set the tone of the first time you met him. W what were you doing? What was he doing? How did that, that bond start to form? Uh, it's funny thing. Coach and I, we go way back. We actually even went to high school together, you know, so we were – we went to high school together, you know, I, we're both from, I'm from, uh, yeah, Western PA, you know, so I moved to State College PA, the hometown of uh, uh, Penn State Nittany Lions. I moved there when I was in eighth grade, and then Coach Rule moved from New York City to State College when he was in 10th grade, so we've known each other for a long time. Uh, got too many stories, some of them I can't tell, obviously, uh, you know, here on film, but, uh, you know, Coach and I, we go way back, and, uh, you know, he's always been one of my uh, you know, best friends, you know, since high school. And, uh, uh, you know, it's been a, uh, a pleasure coaching with him at, at Baylor and now coming over here to the uh, Carolina Panthers. Did you ever imagine the first time that you guys met that either one of you would be in this position, you know, more than 20 years later? Uh, well, we, we hit it off right away. You know, he comes, you know, he comes from a family that has a coaching background with his father. Uh, and we both knew early on in college that, you know, when our playing careers were over, we wanted to be, uh, you know, college football coaches. Uh, you know, so growing up in, in state college, playing for Penn State, playing for Coach Paterno, uh, you know, he was always, you know, you know, somebody that we both looked up to. And, uh, you know, we knew pretty much early on in college that we were going to be, uh, you know, collegiate coaches and uh, obviously having the chance to coach in the NFL uh, has, been, has been awesome for, for both of us. Uh, coach, you know, he's always been a guy that is very detailed, uh, very smart. You know, he early on in his career, he got a chance to coach a lot of different positions on offense, defense, and special teams. So I knew that, you know, he was going to end up being a successful head coach uh, no matter what level, uh, you know, he would have an opportunity to be a head coach at. Okay, I read something on your Wikipedia page, and I'm hoping you can tell me if it's true or not. We can test out how accurate Wikipedia is. Is it true that when you were playing at Penn State, you also made the Dean's List? Yes, yes. You know, that is so, first of all, shout out to Wikipedia for getting it right. No but doubt. That is so impressive. Were you able to have, you know, a, a life beyond school and football there? Yeah, yeah, we, we were. I mean, I was. You know, I started my career at West Virginia, and then I transferred to Penn State when I was in, uh, uh, after my sophomore year and, uh, you know, had a great career at Penn State, you know, loved it there. But, you know, we were able to balance academics and athletics at, at Penn State. And I was fortunate enough to, uh, uh, you know, earn a great degree from, from uh, Penn State University and, uh, you know, it's helped me throughout my career. You have been all over when it comes to coaching with, with in the NFL and in college. You've lived in a bunch of different places. So I was just wondering, as someone who's moved around a lot for my career uh, myself as well, aside from, look, I'm going to take Charlotte off the table because I know you're going to love it. What is just your favorite place that you've lived? Not necessarily the job, but just what's the city besides Charlotte that, that you've loved the most? Uh, surprisingly, you know, that's been one of the best things for me in the coaching profession is getting a chance to – you know, a lot of guys don't like the move. You know, I, I, I've enjoyed all the different places I've got a chance to live throughout the country. Uh, you know, obviously, it's uh, South Jersey, you know, Philly area. Uh, you know, lived in Miami for five years, loved it down there. Uh, I bet. Beat it. I miss the <laughs> beach. I miss being able to go to the beach every weekend, uh, you know, when you had some free time. Uh, and then, you know, my one year in California was great, you know, being able to live in the Bay Area and then uh, – to me, moving to Texas was great. And I have, I have uh, a son who plays high school football and be able to move to Texas where, I mean, this is, I mean, they take their football very serious down here, you know, to be able to experience that, uh, you know, on Friday nights, like Friday night lights, uh, you know, here in Texas and, you know, being able to coach in this state has been uh, uh, great for my career. I want to ask you about some of the guys you've coached. You've coached some huge names, Reggie Bush, LaShawn McCoy, just to name a few. And now you've got Christian McCaffrey. We see what someone like CMC does on Sundays, but what behind the scenes makes a running back great? Uh, behind the scenes, you know, we ask the running backs to do a lot, you know, especially on, on, uh, on the offensive side of the ball. You know, they have to really be complete players. So they really have to understand the entire picture of what we're trying to do on offense. You know, you take, for instance, Christian McCaffrey, 
guys like LaShawn McCoy, Reggie Bush, you know, they catch a lot of balls out of the backfield. So they're expected to be able to play receiver, you know, know all the different receiving routes, obviously be able to run the football. And then they have to be able to protect the quarterback, which is big in the NFL since it's a passing league. So, you know, you really have to be smart. You really have to study football. You really have to understand the entire picture of what, you know, we're trying to accomplish on offense. Those are the type of guys who have success in this league at the running back position, guys that can do pretty much everything. And they're, they're smart. Uh, you know, they know football and they're good mentally to be able to, uh, again, understand all the protections, all the pass routes as a, as, as a wide receiver. And then obviously the run game, being able to run the football. So I'm really excited about coaching Christian, uh, uh, really excited. Uh, obviously, you know, he's had a great career so far and, you know, I'm hoping I can help him, uh, you know, go uh, beyond, you know, what he has done so far. Uh, but like I said, I'm really excited to coach him and to see his development over the next couple of years. Well, and he said that he's excited to work with you. He mentioned that, um, you know, it's it's been great because you give a lot of quizzes as everyone learns the new playbook. So I'm wondering, are those like a pop quiz? Like, are you going teacher style? Is it like, you better know this? Like, how do you institute the quizzes during meetings? Well, we uh, implement the quizzes uh, during meetings uh, once once per week, but we're always quizzing every pretty much every single day. You know, we try to keep the guys engaged during meetings. I'm constantly asking questions, putting them on the spot, uh, you know, trying to make them you know, answer in, in our language and, you know, just to test their knowledge out during the meeting. And then we'll have official quizzes usually every uh, Thursday or Friday at the end of the week. So, you know, we've been using, uh, you know, certain apps, uh, Kahoot app, you know, certain things to test them during meetings. The guys have fun with it. Uh, you know, they get a chance to, you know, show their knowledge and compete against each other and see who can get the highest score. And, uh, uh, you know, so it's been good, you know, being able to test them every single week. And Coach, we are so excited to have you. Thank you for taking the time and let us, letting us get to know you just a little bit better. No, I really appreciate uh, you having me. And like I said, we're our entire staff, I mean, we're excited about, you know, uh, our players and what we have to work with here at the Carolina Panthers. Yeah, we're excited about it too. Thanks, Coach. Okay, thank you.